All right, hello, and welcome to episode 95 of the FOMOcast. Hello, YouTube. Um, we're on Twitch right now. We've been on for a minute talking about a couple things here and there. I want to remind everyone to uh, uh, go to facebook.com slash FOMOcast, Twitter FOMO underscore cast, FOMO podcast on Instagram. I did give you a shout-up for your song on iTunes, so I don't know you saw an uptick or anything oh, like nice. that. nice. Yeah. I actually had it playing in, on my way home from work on, on yesterday because uh, – I was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to see if it helps if I play it, you know. And I, I just kept listening to it the whole way through, and I was like, oh, you know what, this is, i got to share this on Instagram. So It'll I put you to sleep. It. I don't recommend it while driving. It's, no, it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not too bad. Like It's, it's more of like, you know, it, it, has a, it has a very subtle sound to it, so it's not like it's out there blaring, yeah. but it has, it's very consistent, but it changes. I, I, just, I liked it. So I shout it out there. If you go on Instagram, you'll see I put the link to iTunes on there too as well. Um, and then make sure to go to podbros.com, the Podbros Network, uh, and check out everything on there. I'm going to upload two episodes tonight after we finish recording this because I haven't done it in a couple weeks on that part either. So got to update the network for our podcast. Um, and make sure also check out ConCon's Cantina. I think you'd like it because they're super Star Wars nerds and they pick apart everything. So they can um, – I like it because they explain certain things. Um, uh, so – you know, we'll talk about more of the Mandalorian later, obviously episode three, and kind of go back retroactively on everything. Are um, are we recording? We're recording. Just checking. Yeah, we're recording. <laughs> it's happened before. It's happened before, <laughs> but we're recording. Uh, I I have the same setup, so it doesn't matter anymore. I'm not removing anything. Uh, I actually can't game on this computer though. So whenever I game on Twitch, if you're watching this, it's not through this computer. It's through the computer behind me because. My computer doesn't have a USB port uh, 3.0, so I have to stream with a different port. Um, so, Kong Kong's Cantina. Tim, I love you. Keep sending me stuff. Uh, he keeps sending stuff. Not as crazily as Titus does, where it seems like Titus wakes up and just starts Googling <laughs> entertainment news. I don't know. Where do you get these articles at? It's the Apple, because whenever I click on them, it pulls up the Apple Spotlight. So, yes. literally, whenever he sees the Apple Spotlight, he's just sharing it. He's not even reading it. I know for a fact he's not reading it. <laughs> Exactly. Are you not working again? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, one of the articles I, I started, and it just lost. I... So the, the problem with Apple Spotlight is, is it usually, um, I kind of like it. What it'll do is it'll make the article look more generic. It won't, like, so you can't really tell if, like, it's biased or not. It has that black background or a white background. Are you seeing the article that's saying we're biased? No, no, no. I mean, so you, you look at it, and it's not like, oh, Fox News everywhere. Oh, you look at it, and it's. CNN everywhere. You just look at it and it's an article. So the way you send it, it doesn't say right at the, on the thing. It won't say like in big letters CNN or whatever. Yeah. It just shows up as a regular uh, article. I just hate news in general. Mm. One of the ones Titus sent was uh, uh, is Elsa from Frozen Two. <laughs> is she is she gay? And and you open up the article and it's like Elsa from Frozen Two is gay. Well, maybe not, but and it was <laughs> the whole the whole article was just I got like halfway through and I was like this is stupid uh, and all they were it. saying is well maybe well, they're not well, saying she's straight they, so they, all, they, they had nothing to say the about other it. article too he shared of uh, Jane Fonda getting arrested like I told them I I've been reading the articles every time she gets arrested because no, she got arrested with uh, Sam Watterson who was the DA on Law and Order. Um, he got, they got arrested, and it, it says in the article, she gets arrested with all these people. And then all of a sudden, in the article, it says that only her and two of the people got arrested. And then it says, the cops don't plan on ever pressing charges against Jane Fonda. So what's the point of arresting her? Just symbolic. Yeah, on this uh, text message thread, Titus has been just <laughs> dumping on Disney all week. <laughs> Every day, I get a, <laughs> a, a text pop. So we'll get, we'll get into that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get into that. So, uh... Go to everything. Obviously, everyone's here. But so with that fact, okay, so Fox, uh, Fox, when they got bought, apparently Titus did make a good point, even though, so I always remembered watching the X-Men cartoons and being like, man, this thing is whack. Why are they, why are they in the future? And then why are all of a sudden they in present day? No, I agree. It was whack back so, then. And back then. And so what happened, and you find out, apparently the way they, the way they created the cartoon. Makes no sense. It did, they literally had an order for it, but I guess it was easier to do certain things a certain way. So they were making them out of order and just decided, hey, let's just release them out of order. So Disney 
was all confused, you can tell, because not only did they screw up on some of the stuff, but they ended up putting stuff wrong because it didn't make any sense to begin with. So that was one of them. Uh, what was the other one? I can't remember. There was another one that you sent. I don't remember. He sent another one about how... Yeah, I have to look at your phone. Well, no, there's other shows, I guess, that they said that are having issues as well, where the show's not in order and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I did watch... I watched DuckTales. I watched Dark Tick, Darkwing Duck. I watched Chippendale Rexies Rangers. And, dude, I've been watching some of his cartoons, and I'm like, man, I didn't remember how gritty... Dude, do you know why... Okay, do you know why DuckTales happened? No. Okay. Because God wanted it. I well, not just besides it's that. Fun. Donald and on the seventh day he created DuckTales. Donald joined the Navy. That, that's why. When you read the description, it says Donald joined the Navy. That's how I made his millions. So they have to no. So they have to go stay with Uncle Scrooge. Oh, okay. And I was like, wait, what? And then you watch the first episode, and this never happens anywhere. There's no, there's no inkling of it actually being the case. That so he went to the Navy. It doesn't say anything on it. I guess just it's implied. So I was kind of like, that's kind of funny. And then um. Uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, man, that's a dark show. That is a real dark show. It's been a while. So, I've been kind of surprised, and I so I texted them Why too. Is Rescue Rangers, dark. So, like the first episode is about them. Um, so it's I can't remember which one. I think I believe uh, Dale is the the idiot one, right? <laughs> He's the one in the floral uh, shirt. I don't remember. Yeah, I sure. I did have a Chippendale Rescue Rangers blanket. Okay. From the time I was a young child. So up until like so, college. So 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 basically, <laughs> it's it's all about um yeah it's Dale because Chip's the smart one. Okay. I'll I'll look it up right now. So we're doing the thing that Titus loves. Be my phone. <laughs> but I um, the fans loved it. Uh, yeah yeah they enjoy it. They enjoy it. So um basically they go on and look like. They're cleaning up, and oh, there's my kid screaming. So if you hear any screaming in the back, my kid is super sick. So uh, uh, my wife is trying to wrangle him. Podcast uh, priorities. You, well, no, I, I I did my my job today of being a, a good papa and uh, checking out. Clocked out now. <laughs> <laughs> not for not for shift for is now. over. So Chip and Dale, it doesn't even say Just on the give rescue him a stick Rangers. and he'll be good for a couple hours. <laughs> But Is so he and they're watching YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, actually, he likes he likes um, <laughs> car crashes. No, he he likes the he really likes the Blanco Brown that um, the um, the Get Up song that yeah I'll play for you later. <laughs> That's okay. But uh, so what happens in this is oh poor guy. So basically they go and there there's a mess. So. Chip and Dale are arguing over who has to take the garbage out because they make a mess. So he dumps the garbage out. Well, Chip gets stuck, or Dale gets stuck in the garbage. Chip goes after him. They end up on a boat. It's this whole thing. But what the dark part about it is, is they end up getting stuck in a bottle. And this little mouse pirate ship pulls up and takes them on board. And they're like, you guys want to be pirates with us? And they're like, sure. So then it just, it's really dark. Like the episode is like, they have to spend the rest of their lives being pirates with these guys because they're waiting for this ghost ship to come back or something weird. Like it's just super dark. And I was like, I don't remember it being this dark. You're selling me on it. I kind of want to watch it. Now, where is it available at? Oh, I wonder. Disney Plus? Uh, I don't know. It didn't seem like a Disney show. <laughs> yeah. Chippendale Rescue Rangers? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it didn't seem like Chip one. Chippendale. What came first, them or the strippers? What? Why do they have the same name? How are they related? Chip and Dale? I believe they're brothers. What? No. <laughs> oh, okay, he's talking about like the... The strippers. The strippers, Chip and Dales. No, it, so stripper is Chip and Dale is one word. What's the difference? They're Chip different. and Dale. Chip is one person, Dale is another person. Well, there's got to be Dales. some relation, right? No, there's not. So where not. did the strippers get that name Chip and Dales from? Uh, I don't know. You don't know the history, Titus? I don't. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm doing some research now. Whatever. I guess it says it shows they have it in, in Reno. Oh, I didn't know you were looking up tour dates. <laughs> or how much are tickets? No, I guess they it shows it on here that they have some sort of. Uh, I guess they have a residency thing or something. If you want to come with Chris to go watch Chippendales, uh, go to FOMO Cast Instagram. Facebook. Whatever. Com. MySpace. <laughs> I thought they were exclusively a Vegas thing. 
that doesn't have any idea why it's called Chippendales. Chippendales are named after Chip and Dale, a pair of cartoon squirrels. No, it's oh, not. Oh, but that's not true. <laughs> Wait, they're named after the furniture company? How's that related? We have derailed. Oh, because it says the club name was suggested by uh, by Bruce Naheen as the club had Chippendale-style furniture. <laughs> That's why. That's where the name came from. Whoa. Naeem. Whoa. Uh, His name was Bruce Naeem. Wow. Bruce Naeem. This is insane. This is insane. Did you know? Oh, my gosh. No, I don't want to know. Who cares? Hugh Hefner had the rights to the cuff and collar design. Like, you know how they wear the cuffs and collars and, and yeah, no you. top? <laughs> Hugh Hefner owned the rights Tell to that. Tell me more about it. Okay. It says that they had to get permission from him to use it in their nightclubs. The For weirdest the part, style? Yeah. You can own a style? I, apparently, because that, that's, that's their advertising. Wait, what was this guy's name again? Bruce Nahayan? So it's it was founded by Soman Banjuri and a young attorney named Bruce Nahin. Nahin. And then it said, Paul Snyder pitched a show... Dealing with blah, blah, blah. And they said Stratton. So Dor- Dorothy Stratton assisted him with it. And then Stratton killed, was killed by Snyder in a murder-suicide some month of the mail review open. So, uh, yeah. Not very good. So not related at all. Unlike Andrew seems to think there's no, uh, yeah. Can't believe you. Sorry, I'm learning about Chippendale's history right Jesus. now. Jesus. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, the murder suicide thing was kind of weird. What are you talking about? Just, I mean, you, the original the... creator hired a hitman to kill some of his strippers and was investigated by the FBI. Yeah, I'm reading that now. Am That's I crazy. On, on the same cast podcast as you guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even listen ever. This is our like Chippendales podcast. <laughs> the strippers, not the cartoon. So okay, so back on track so yeah disney plus i've been watching anything have you watched anything besides the mandalorian on there Nope. which doug i found out doug was bought by disney after nickelodeon didn't renew it and so it was on nickelodeon for three years and it was on uh abc for three years and i found out disney is the master of throwing shade because the very first episode of doug is like hey diary I missed you. It feels like I've been gone forever. And it's like legit just like saying, oh yeah, the previous, the previous three years didn't happen basically. It's pretty crazy. But I was wondering, I was like, oh, they got, they, they couldn't use the, um, the, uh, other intro. So it's different. Uh, I'm not going to uh, watch it. So they have the movie on there too. Well, yeah. Right? Cause <laughs> apparently Disney plus is so bad. Titus couldn't outlast the free trial period. <laughs> you know, it was funny. I never got on it. I, I, never got I, on I, it. I did see a meme somewhere that said, Hey, it's gotten pretty quiet about Disney plus. Is it because all your freaking people's free trials expired? <laughs> and then, uh, Disney apparently has been going on and, um, making, uh, if you post a, a meme that displays, uh, baby Yoda bad at all, <laughs> they're making you. Rem- they're making Facebook remove it. What? Because there's a meme of Mando with a sniper rifle, and Baby Yoda's leaning like this and says, oh, "Yes, he's like take the mur- shot, take the yeah. shot." And then he, <laughs> it shows the Mando shooting, yeah. and then it goes, "Yes, murder." And his eyes are open, <laughs> like he's excited about it. I don't get it. But anyways, uh, f- someone sent it to me. I'll show you. They want to get rid of that, huh? Yeah, I guess it's some sort of. What are you th- drinking there? Water. It doesn't smell like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so right, it's supposed to be uh, freedom of speech, yeah? Um, yeah, but I guess it's... it's I don't a, understand it's a, why that's not it's, allowed. It's a Star Wars licensing issue or something like that. I don't know why it's a bad idea. They're going to be making millions off the merch because everyone wants a baby a baby Yoda. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> Disgusting. Are yeah. you going to buy one? You know he is. No, it's it's. I think it's mostly it's gonna be in the park probably for a month or two, so you won't be able to get anywhere. But there probably. No. Is it is no. it already on its way? Is it being shipped to your house? It's they selling. they said expected it's, in they two said, to three business days. No, they don't have anything listed yet. It's they said it was supposed to be done by Friday. We'll see. Um, so let's go over everything before we go to the Mando stuff. Uh, so the Oscar nods. That's right. You sent that article. I did. I was surprised at how many movies actually I heard of at least. You know, because usually it's like 
seven different foreign films that got some long old name and I'm like I never heard of this movie before. There was a quite a few that were on there. Um the long shot list is the normal normal kind of long shot like a little bit more mainstream time movies. And then the only one on there that was like a huge contender that was like super mainstream was The Joker. I don't know of anything else on there that was uh mainstream. Well, well Joaquin Phoenix get the Oscar? Is he, do you think he'll be nominated? I don't know. I think I think is he is he nominated? I think he, I think he'd be nominated, but I don't know. I don't know how well he's gonna do. You know, because I mean, sadly, everyone's kind of anti Joaquin Phoenix. That movie that movie struck a chord big time. I haven't seen it really. It's just a yeah, because calm down, people. Well, calm no, because I listened to a radio. Twitter. No, I listened to a radio show that they said that like former military people who have like PTSD and stuff like that, it it can cause some issues. Sure, to bring stir stuff up. Right, maybe they go, shouldn't go see the movie. Like they see the rating, right? True, but I mean, you're not violent. expecting certain things. So, yeah, well, yeah, it is violent. I will say that. Three of those front runners are Netflix movies. Yeah, like I don't. I heard the Irishman had a horrible rating. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why it's on there. What do you mean horrible rating? Like what did it get? Like people theories? were people were saying that they they had such a huge opportunity with that movie and they they missed it. And wow. then I, did you seen it? No, I haven't. Wa- it's not on Netflix yet. No one's watching these movies. God, Ford vs Ferrari looks horrible. Yeah, I heard it and did that's really, on it there. Did pretty good. Someone said I saw I read a review somewhere they did it really good. And then Mister the Mister Rogers movie I heard they said it was pretty good. What's that one called? Uh, oh, that's not a front it's runner. Not, it's not a front runner. Uh-huh. No, because I I don't think so. Because uh, all the reviews that I've seen, they're saying that while it's a great movie, it's not one of those things where it's like uh, Tom Hanks became the character. He's he's not pulling a a Christian Bale. He's not becoming the character. It's just Tom Hanks being Fred Rogers. So I just sent an article that said that uh, <laughs> the the real Mister Rogers' uh, wife, widow, was widow. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, where we should get the story. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the widow. No, it does, I don't like that. His wife. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, she said that Tom Hanks got lost in the character. I don't know what that means. I think that's a compliment. It sounded like a compliment. No, the article made it sound like she didn't like it. No, if you if you watch the interview, she, she liked it. She liked it. So so basically, what she was saying was she's trying to hook up with Tom. Hanks she didn't. Now. She didn't think that she goes. I she goes. I, she she basically was saying like she didn't think that somebody could become Rod, Fred Rogers, her husband. She thought, okay, he's he's a good actor and all, but how is he going to become my husband? Kind of thing. And so they said he did, and um, I didn't know that the movie is based on uh, basically not even really about, it's not even really about Fred Rogers, it's about a guy who wrote an article about him in Rolling Stone. And I guess this dude was known for like, whenever he was given a piece, it was like, no matter how nice the person seemed on the the outside, there was something wrong with the person on the inside. And um, they said it was, a lot of it had to do with... uh, Basically, this guy was just depressed because people were just putting him down. It was just he was just had a bad putting life or whatever. Mr. Rogers? No, the writer. Well, yeah. He was so he so he was everybody. so he was no he that's why he was writing the negative stuff oh. and that he spent a bunch of time with Fred Rogers. He saved him. And uh, I guess supposedly I guess it just shows the relationship that they built. You know, because this was this was I think twenty years ago. Fifteen years ago, because he passed. He passed away in two thousand five, I believe. The writer or Mister Rogers? No, Mister Rogers. I know nothing about Mister Rogers. So, did you guys watch it? No, no. I think I may have seen one or two of the show. The show? Yeah, a little. What, that bit. was your guys' era, right? No. When was the show on? Seventies. Oh. <laughs> no, it was no, it was on for forever. It was on. I think I think he was on it until the day he died. Because I remember seeing a big article. Really? That it was pretty close. They had a big article about how um, he. When he started getting older, and he started preparing the kids for his inevitable passing, um, he's a he's a Presbyterian like uh, minister. He's ordained. At the same time, he just that that he was that, but he that was his show. Like he just it was his day. Was his show religious? 
No. No. Never. Well, like in the sense of like, like Jesus, like love your neighbor. Yeah. It's all about love. Yeah. And like it, out the he, he never mentioned God or Jesus, but no, it was it that really it, was, it was like a very Tim Ken, Ten Commandment type of thingy. But it wasn't pushy. Like it was like love everyone. Love was like the key thing that made the trolley go and all that stuff like that. So I it's don't, 19, I don't remember this trolley. Nineteen sixty-eight to two thousand one. Wow. wow. So so the trolley was the one that took you from. It took you from his house to the land of make believe. And, and that was, was like where everything gets small, right? How often? It was puppets. like was, puppets. Yeah. Was this like every weekday or like once a week? How it often did the show? So come he on. passed in two thousand three. So he died two years after the show ended. Um, let me see how many episodes there. What were. was the show called? Like in the or the movie? What's Mr. The movie Rogers' called? Neighborhood? This was called a, be- a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Oh, in the hood. So he had eight hundred and ninety-five episodes. Jeez. And I don't think he even it shows thirty one seasons. Maybe if he would have tried, he could have hit a thousand. So, from what <laughs> I don't so think, close. I think one of the trivia things too was like I don't think he ever took a paycheck or anything like that either. Like it was no clue. Like they were bare minimum everything. Like the sweaters he wore were like his mom made all of them. <laughs> it was you know. Let's see. Let's see what it says about it. During Halloween, the Rogers family gave out sugar-free candies to local <laughs> trick-or-treaters. Wow. What are what are sugar-free candies? Give me some examples of sugar-free candies. I don't even know. A chalk candy? A chalk candy? Yeah, those chalk candies? Like the Valentine hearts <laughs> on so, Halloween? Something like that. No, aren't those all sugar? I don't know. It's nothing but just a heart of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what sugar-free candy is. Google it. Like the old people candies? Like... I don't know. Like mints? <laughs> no idea. Are you looking up sugar-free candy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. I'm at, I'm waiting to see... Chris is doing the hard work. <laughs> the yeah. hard-hitting research. On the fly. <laughs> Always ready to go. Give me some examples of some sugar-free candies. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Sh- examples. Not me. Examples. Your free candies. Oh my goodness. What were you doing? How many steps are you taking to get there? <laughs> Did you reset your phone? No. So, sugar free candies. Like, were there's original? <laughs> I told you, old people candy. Twizzlers. Twizzlers are sugar free? That's what they're they I have, bet they, they, they have, have a sugar free option. Okay, so if you look at it, it's almost like a, there's like a ton of gummy type candies that are sugar free. So, it looks like. Um, where those original? So Mr. Rogers was giving out the gummies. So it looked like all the Haribos are, and so is um, Smart Sweet. That's a knockoff. Walmart has one called Smart Sweets Berry Sweet Fish Candy. So they're freaking oh. Swedish fish. So they have so like Jelly Belly has sugar free ones. Um, so I get. I mean, I guess there's options, but yeah, that's different. Okay, so um. The Oscar thing, I don't really cover it ever because, like you said, we, the, half the stuff I've never seen, the only thing I ever saw that had was Oscar-worthy was three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and that thing was only showing at our local theater for like a week. That's not for this year, is it? No, but no, that's what I'm saying. Know. That's the only movie I've ever seen. I've never heard of most of those front runners. Mm-mm. No, most and a lot of them are foreign films. Or If you've seen, though, a lot of there's a lot more Netflix stuff popping up in it, so it is kind of easier to see. Um it's all political, right? It's been admitted that it's political. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, if you ever watch it, there's always a theme as to the winners. You know, whatever someone's complaining there's not enough of in the movie industry, all of a sudden. The worst one I heard this year was that there was a, uh, a independent... It was a, it was a documentary, I believe, or it was a film. It was a short film that was shot in Africa, but because it was in English, they wouldn't classify it as a, a foreign short film. No, that doesn't make sense. No. No. So because it didn't have subtitles and it was in English, they wouldn't classify it as a foreign short film. It's not American. No, it's not. So not I just don't know. I, I mean, so they're, they're, that's already, that's, that's, that was already a topic, but no one shared that article. No one really cared because it was a, no one, no one watches the foreign short film segment of it. It just shows up on the bottom who won, so... Um, Netflix is doing something that I haven't seen before. Um, so you know that show Vikings? It's on I think History Channel. No, something it's not, like that. It's not called the History Channel. It's called History. Okay, whatever. Right. No, 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 no hey. get it right, man. Whatever. <laughs> no, 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 look um, it up right now. Netflix is doing a sequel 
uh, they're going to have a, a show called Vikings Valhalla. So um, they're developing a sequel right now. So that means they must so know how the show ends. So this is going to go into like Norse mythology? I believe so. I'm hoping it does. Because um, I've seen some really, really cool stuff lately. I saw this article about some dudes who found some Viking treasure in uh, Europe. And they didn't report it. They took it all and they tried selling it little by little. And legitimately, I thought like I thought Netflix has a show on there. Um, it, it, it's a Viking show. I can't remember the name of it, but I thought they were joking. Like, oh, it's this guy's name. His name's Uhtred, and he's a Viking. He was a Sam. He's a, a Saxon, but he was kidnapped by the Vikings. Raises their one of their own, and they have a king. Well, I didn't know that dude was a real dude. So I googled it, and it turns out everything is real about this guy, this king, and the wars, and everything in the show. Well, that was the, some of the coins they found, but they said that it's, like, the Viking stuff is just so huge over there, which is Frozen Viking? They're Nor- they're Nor- from Norway, correct? I'm just blown away you still think the History Channel would exist. <laughs> Whatever. It's called, the, it's called History, man. Then why, why is it listed as the History Frozen? Channel? It's not. Look it up. I have my phone. So he sent one of the articles that, that Frozen the has, in, in, their indigenous people, um, they have a contract with Disney that they won't be portrayed bad in the film. Yeah. So I see, man. But is Norway was is part of Norse. You know what I mean? That that's that's kind of where it all developed from in in the Netherlands area. I don't know. I've, have you seen Frozen? <laughs> I don't know. Netherlands is not Norway. <laughs> You're no, no, thinking no. of uh, Scandinavia is Norway, <sighs> Denmark, and Sweden. Netherlands is and down by like France and Belgium and in like main Western Europe. Denmark's right, the most You're south country, of, man. Of way Scandinavia. Up north, Scandinavia. Denmark's Hold the on. most south. Denmark, south. Norway, and Sweden are the three Finland up there. Too, right? Oh wait, what am I? I mixed one of them up. Well, Denmark is the same as... Greenland. Amsterdam is in... Iceland. Amsterdam is in uh, the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. that's But that's up. down in Western Europe, like around France, Spain, Germany, that area. That's way off of Scandinavia. Hold on. It's <laughs> Believe Western me. Europe, bro. Western Northern Europe. Chris, man. No, but the, the what I'm saying is, if you look at it, it's you're making it sound like I'm so far off. It's you right are. there. Yeah, across. Yes, you, you are. are. You are thousands <laughs> of miles off. The <laughs> Netherlands. Thousands of miles. That's thousands of miles. Yes. Right there to right there. Okay, yes. but what I'm saying is, from from here up was all was all uh, Vikings. What Even over about? here, over here in uh, in uh, the United Kingdom, there was Vikings and everything over I there. I don't know, man. You, I don't know. I don't How know. else would you expect them finding their find? They found Viking stuff in London. Yeah, they raided those places. Right, that's what I'm saying. Right, I don't. I'm but but like Nether, Netherlands is not known for for Vikings or. Like, yeah, <laughs> I've never heard the connection with Netherlands and Vikings. Norway, Sweden, and Finland were the ones I was thinking of. Okay. You looking at the History Channel thing now? No. Okay, don't. It's true. No, well, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's called history. The history cha- they can't say it's a history channel because there's no history about it. It's all like reality TV. It's called history. Look it up, man. Where's the Wikipedia? <laughs> what what, cha- is, what, what it say channel? <laughs> history channel home. No, it's not it, man. Look at it. What channel is the history channel on? It's <laughs> a good question. Okay, okay. So, excuse me. It changed in 2008. Yeah. Ex- wow. What year is it now? I don't care. So I'm supposed to be up on some ten sort of... Years? I'm 10 years? 10 years. 11. <laughs> Titus 11. lost a year. Apparently he had a stroke. Years. Over 10 years. How? I don't keep track of the channel name. You watch it? No, I don't. You don't watch history? No. You don't watch Osro Druggers? No. It doesn't seem like your show. You've seen it, though. No. You've seen it. No. No. What about Vikings? You watch Vikings? I've watched it on Netflix. Uh, I haven't watched it on History. What about Pawn Stars? You seem like a Pawn Stars guy. No. Is that on History? I think so, yeah. Why? Yeah, it is. Know. What does that have to do with History? Exactly. Because everything that, comes, everything that comes in there has to have History. <laughs> okay, well, what qualifies as History? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. <laughs> he, he is a massive collector of samurai swords from, like, uh... The 17th century and stuff like that. Like he has some legitimate ones worth a couple. Okay, but I bet someone brings in some crap too from. <laughs> yeah, a lot of forged stuff. Yeah, that's not historical. 
Whatever. Fake news. I hate you. Stopped again. So, You're welcome. Okay, yes, so they're, they're doing history, that. Man. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. So they're doing that. Um, they're also doing, you know who John Mulaney is? Sounds familiar. He's a comedian. He had a, he had a TV show for a minute. He's kind of kind of a dry humor. He's doing a Christmas special for kids. And this is a dude who, whenever they do like comedy sketches, he's the dude that's talking to kids like they're an adult, stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. Is it? People are sad because uh, Mindhunter season three is on hold. Are they you gonna watch that Christmas special? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. You watch it with your son? Of course. He won't know what's going on. He's too busy worrying about Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Um, but David Fincher is filming a movie, so they're going to have to wait. So people are all mad because they already had to wait almost two years for season two. So it's going to be even longer for that one. Um, and then they dropped the info for the PS5. So the PS5 is going to drop November 20th, 2020. And it's going to cost about $500. Damn. Yeah. I don't know why. Because I mean, they can. And you'll buy it for five hundred. Inflation. You'll buy I, it. I mean, they're gonna have the four K probably. You pre-order it. <clears throat> You're gonna no. buy it. I don't have a TV to play it on. Say what? Yeah. Why not? You have to have a special TV now. I believe it's gonna be set up four K probably. You're not four K. Yeah, but you can watch four K stuff on regular. Right, TV you can, though. but I don't want to get it and have it not have it optimized. I'm trying trying to get a new TV for the living room. What Just is four K? Four K. Yeah. It's four thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, man. No, it's, it's a higher resolution, which that's why I recommend everyone getting, um, if you don't have a, a, something to stream on, if you do get Apple TV, and let's say, for instance, you can't afford a TV at the moment, like you have a newer TV, if you, if you get Apple TV and you buy a show, buy a movie, if there's 4K available for it, you, it automatically gets upgraded to 4K when you get a 4K TV. So they take care of you. Um, and speaking of Apple TV, have you heard that their their app is not doing very good? Their their network. I use it every Thursday night. For what? For Thursday night football. What? It's on Apple TV. No, the Apple TV the the subscription wow. the subscription service. They have football on there. What? Yeah. Are you sure? Google it. How, you don't have a subscription. He's a liar. <laughs> So, it's called history, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, so uh, I guess the the push for uh, that Reese Witherspoon, Steve Carell show just not, not do, it's not doing good. Not well, and I also found out that like a lot of people were like kind of thrown because they're like, well, it's technically technically it's Steve Carell's in it, but I I, I want to say that the rumors are he only signed on for one season. So, yeah. You know, they already know he's not going to be on the second season, so people are like, well, if I like him, I'm not going to watch it. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much what we have for that. Uh, anything before you go in your little deep dive about how much you hate Mandalorian? Walk, or, uh, Walking Dead, ending in two years. Oh, it is? They announced it? Well, it's probably fine. Well, I'm surprised they're taking that long. I don't know. I think so, yeah. That you show don't even really, know if it's true? <laughs> that show really is trash, isn't it? Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of trash, mm -hmm. I'm going to take you on a little side here. Right. I went to the park today, right. and there was a, a couple of sausage egg McMuffin wrappers just thrown on the ground in the park. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, man, people do not respect nature or parks. No, it's sad. And then I was thinking, man, I could really go for a sausage egg McMuffin right now. Did you get a sausage egg now. McMuffin? I think you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, from what I, from what the, the saddest part is, so like, so Disneyland, um, everyone always wanted, like they have garbage cans everywhere. And I, what they did was, is when the park first opened, they would watch people and see how far they would walk and then drop garbage on the ground. And they're like, you know what? There's a certain formula to it. So there's, there's a garbage can every so many feet. It's like. 30 feet, 40 feet, there's a garbage can. And that just shows how lazy people are. They're how not much gonna, does it cost to go to Disneyland? Uh, the flex is from like 98 to like 110 a day. The flex? Yeah. What's that? So basically, if it's, a, if it's a traditionally busier day, they can flex the price to a higher price. Wow. Yeah. So how much do you think they make just with Disneyland, the park? Just like admin? Yeah, like how much? Admittance fee? Yeah. Like, how much do you think they make? On a normal year, if it wasn't slow like it is this year, billions. You're taking, you're saying the Disneyland Park, just the park admissions. You can look it up right now and just, tell you. Just the L.A. one. Yes. Yeah. Disneyland, yeah. 
park admission. Just Disneyland. Because you got to think how many people get these annual passes and I don't no go, idea. too. I have no idea. You're saying $2 billion? I say a billion dollars at least. Billion dollars at least. Billion dollars at least. Because you got to count the hotel, everything. No, just the park admissions. That's it. Just to go into the park. That counts. That counts. Because you pay for the hotels and get admission, some people. Uh, I don't know how it works. We're going to find out, though. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Andrew's looking up by Yoda memes right now. Maybe. So you like Disney Plus still? You're not going to cancel it? No, I like it. It's, it's actually, you know what? See, they were smart enough to know that I paid it for three years. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm already paid up. So the thing is, though, is they know that, so I didn't even know, like, I was going to get it regardless, but the Thursday before it dropped, I go to sh- put some Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for my kid on the Disney Now app, and everything's gone, and they removed everything from the Disney Now app. So basically, I was like... So what's on that app? Nothing? It's all just, like, little snip, uh, snapshots, little previews and stuff. That's it. So... You can't. I probably could probably log in with my Disney Plus account, but there's no point because it's all on the app on Disney Plus app. So uh, the one thing I do like is is like let's say for instance my son loves one movie. If you download that movie, they've said already that movie stays in your collection as long as you have that app on your on your device. So even if that device logs you out for whatever reason, it updates the app and logs you out, you still have that saved. Whereas, like, with Netflix, you download it, you don't have it anymore if they get rid of it. And I do like the fact, two people are complaining, oh, they don't have this movie. It's called Contracts, people. Relax. And they actually have a thing that says, when you try to click on a movie, like, if, I guess if you search uh, Avengers Endgame, no, Avengers Infinity War, you can click on it, and it'll tell you when it's going to show up on the service. Show up. I don't know. I didn't look at it. Mm. I haven't searched into that stuff like that. Because I haven't had time to. I watched that Noel. I'll probably watch a couple uh, couple other things tonight. Because I know they have some pretty good. I actually started watching that Encore. I didn't think I was going to like that. It's kind of cringy at first. And it's basically people that were in what? It's one of those crazy numbers that <laughs> the calculator has to add a letter. So we can't find exact numbers. But we can average uh, guess based on... Ticket attendance. price and average attendance per day. So a ticket is about one fifty. Obviously, there's deals where you can get a little less, right? So, or, so or more. So if you yeah, if you do yeah. a two day park, so, yeah. so we'll say one fifty per ticket. Right. An average daily attendance of fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. And you times that by three hundred sixty five days a year. Right. And never closed. <laughs> you get. I don't know if I'm reading this right. Hang on. Two billion. I'll just round it. Down two billion seven hundred million. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. A year. Do you Just feel, on a ten. And you think, that's not and, rides right. or well you don't well, you, you pay right. for the rides. None but of them. No. It's all included. What's the? Someone just put something. What's Magic Kingdom? Is that only Disney World? That's Disney World. Okay, because there was like a different cost to get into that. So isn't California Adventure a separate cost? N- well, yeah. If you, you so here's the thing. So. A park. That's why it's averaged at 150. Because the park hopper is usually like two something. But like when we went, uh, they had a deal that said, "Hey," because they do this thing where if you let's say for instance, I know, hey, I'm gonna tell my family because I have family I stay with. So if I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go stay with my family, you know, uh, I'll just buy the tickets the day of. Well, Disneyland does this thing where like, hey, if you book uh, your tickets and come before May 31st, and it's like April 1st they announce this, they'll say. Oh, hey, if you come before May 31st, if you buy tickets now, we'll do a deal where it's three park hoppers, uh, three one-day park hoppers for $135 each. So they'll knock prices down. So uh, It's 7 to $8 million a day just on attendance. You say 50,000 50, people mm-hmm. a day? Yep. Yeah. A day? Right? Average. Yep. A yep. day go there. Yep. Because you got to figure, I think they have to close. They're at capacity at 100000 I think. I think because the, the fire marshal, they have a fire marshal, I think, that's, like, always there. So if they see the crowds are big, the fire marshal shows up, and basically they'll shut it down where you can't get in. It's happened before? Yeah, People I've heard. People love that Disney, man. Hmm? People love Disneyland. Huh? There's, the, there's a guy, they call him the clapping man. He goes every single day, and you see him, and he just rides around on the trolley, and he's clapping. He's a little super old guy. And there's some guy, the, his streak was, like, a uh, 3,000 days in a row. 
And this does what? This gets you Disneyland fanatics like, yeah! Like, well, because, I mean, here's that. the thing. Here's the thing. Like, I told the wife, I go, if we lived down there and we had annual passes, we lived in Anaheim, Ooh, you I literally... I thought you said a different type <laughs> <Yeah>. of pass. <laughs> annual passes. <laughs> Whatever. When you listen back to that, you're going to realize <laughs> but if how you, bad it sounded. If you go down there, if, let's, let's say you live down there, you live near the parks, I'm gonna go have dinner at Disney real quick. Go downtown, downtown Disney. You know what? Let's go run in the park real quick and go go do stuff. Because people make money off of buying limited edition items, buying pins. They they do that all the time because people. So you do that? Did you do that? No, but I know people that literally like. They're like, hey, I want this. Like, um, the wife collects the the Minnie Mouse ears, so I can tell one of my friends, hey, go grab Where it for me. How much ears? does one of those cost? Fifty dollars, right? And then no. you get it personalized. Twenty-five dollars. Right? The Minnie Mouse ears? No. Don't you get the? No, the, that's Mickey. That's the Mickey Mouse ears. Oh, sorry. It's a big difference. <laughs> the Minnie Mouse ears are just the headband with the ears. Those are like twenty bucks, twenty-five bucks. How much is the Mickey Mouse ears with your name on it? Uh, I want to say they're like they're like forty to eighty Ooh. depending on which ones you get. Ooh. But you got to think that those hurts. are those ones aren't ones you're supposed to wear. Those are usually meant to be like a memento kind of thing. So I mean, when, when you break it down, everyone's like, "Oh, it's so expensive at Disney." If you live down there, go eat go eat at a fast food restaurant. It's almost the same price as sitting down to dinner at Disneyland. It's it's, it's so you're saying going to McDonald's and getting I don't know. Fast Mac food meal? doesn't change. Yes, it does. It's more expensive. No. Yes, it does. Tell me a fast food restaurant in Anaheim is different than one up here. A more expensive. Bit. Yeah. A little Carl, I think general restaurants are. Carl's Jr. When I when I was in high school, the local one here would have a certain price. We went to UC Davis for something. They have a McCarl's Jr. in in there, and it was two more dollars for the food. Right. They they can About change the prices. Yeah. Because I think it's 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 more about the area. It's what you can charge. I don't think they set that on a corporate level. Because that'd be dumb. Because it's it, California. Someone's paying ten ten bucks for a burger. You're not gonna pay ten bucks in some you know middle of nowhere right, town. Right, but this is still California. It's more expensive down there. That's not dramatically different, but it's more expensive. I say it's it's pretty good housing wise. Because you gotta think. Because when, when we would go to Disney and we'd eat, for me, the wife, it'd be sit sit down dinner, sit down lunch at their the Carnation Cafe, which is just kind of like they have fried chicken, yeah. but they have burgers and they have like uh, French dips and stuff. It'd be 30 bucks, you know? You you would expect it to be more, especially coming from up here, yeah. where our restaurants that claim to be fancy are charging you, you know, McDonald's prices are the same. Well, McDonald's, well, they have to be. <laughs> well, you just said fast you just food made is different it. there. <laughs> but no, so, okay. So give me a restaurant that is. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's different. Carl's Jr. I said Carl's Jr. That's pretty expensive here. You tell me it's more expensive. It's in more Anaheim. expensive. Because we went to Arby's and Arby's they didn't have. We liked the little. We were trying to be smart and get food to go in. They have a little little chicken sandwiches. If you were trying to be smart. You wouldn't have gone to Arby's. <laughs> I like Arby's chicken sandwiches. <laughs> You walked right into that one, man. Low hanging fruit. But <laughs> McDonald's, the only one that they, no, but the McDonald's, the only ones that would stay the same would be the dollar, the, the one, two, three men, the meal, the deals. I don't know. They don't that's have not, a dollar that's menu not what anymore. The research is saying they don't have a dollar menu, so it doesn't matter. The research is not saying that. But. Okay, I only get one thing from Carl's Jr., so I'm looking for that on the menu in Anaheim to see if that's the same. What do you think? You think you're gonna be True on this one? Yeah, I know I am. Ooh, he knows he is. Because I know it's more expensive even when you go to Sacramento. Mm. I don't know. All these burgers are five, six, seven, eight dollars. That's the same as here. No, 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 no. Yes. So, so why don't you look up? Why don't you look up one locally? Like, why don't you concede? Because <laughs> I know <laughs> Carl's Jr. prices. That's bad if you know Carl's Jr. You go there all the time. You what are you asked, talking about, dude? <laughs> no, I don't. You said you went there down here, and then you go down to <laughs> you see Davis. I said, and you I get said, Carl's Jr. In... there. Go down to L.A. You get Carl's Jr. down there. You know about that, Carl, man? Love the pause. <laughs> Love the long pause. See, this is a seat right here. So they actually have a, a place you can do it. So let's go Turlock. The most expensive combo is nine dollars at the Anaheim one. That's still like you can't get a churro for that. 
What? A churro? Isn't that $9? At Disneyland? No, it's like 6 bucks. Oh, all right. So for $3, you get a meal. Three more dollars. Okay, These so... These prices are not different. Heck? I think Arby's worked you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say... Or I said Arby's was the decent price. So okay. Arby's gave you the whole Mississippi shuffle. <laughs> Southern slow play. <laughs> okay, so third cheeseburger. So there's here's the meals. I'll take a screenshot of this and see. Are we still like streaming? Yeah, we're still <laughs> streaming. People are about? still listening to this. No, they're not. No, they're not. No one's listening to this. They heard Titus last time say, "Wait, what? What are we talking about?" And they're like, "This guy's not even paying attention." Uh, I mean, what are we talking about right now? <coughs> The fact that you can't be the bigger man and know that you've been defeated. There's nothing out there that proves your point. Nothing. <laughs> okay, what did you get at Arby's? Because <laughs> I have the Arby's one pulled up now for Anna. They don't have it anymore. Was it down? No, the it was limited. They had the, the chick, like they had these little little sandwiches. Oh, they, they don't have that of, item. They don't have that item anymore. I thought you meant they went out of business. <laughs> I thought Chris no. burned it down. It's not there no more. It's done. They, they made enough money off of Chris when they worked him for those prices. I'm they trying said, to think. Right, what's we, a, we what's can, a, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I'm looking at the menu for Carl's Jr. and I don't even know they have some of this stuff. <coughs> These five, six, seven dollar combos is what it costs out here. I don't know where you're getting this info from. Info Wars. I don't listen to InfoWars. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Let's just move on. Chris, you just... Because I'm mad. <laughs> Why are you mad? Because I'm going I'm I'm to figure this out afterwards. Because you They don't wrong change again? these prices city to city. It, you know, it might be... I might be thinking about taxes, too. <laughs> oh, no, all right, right. That's no. different. No, yeah, taxes are different. <laughs> taxes are different yes. in different places, so yeah, it would make the, it different. Not the But residents. no, because some places, I think... I'm trying to think what I read. Because I asked about it, because I was like, why is it so much more expensive? Because I've heard people in drive throughs argue before. Why are you trying to save face right now, man? You lost. No, I didn't lose. I didn't lose <laughs> anything. Um, but no, I've seen before. I've had people in line before, and you say, I get the same thing every single day, and why is it like three cents more? Of taxes, man. Well, not just that, but I think that a lot of times things raise slightly. Like, I just really realized this my son gets a double cheeseburger, or my wife was getting him a McDouble at McDonald's. And I'm like, why are you getting him a McDouble? It's like 10 cents more for a double cheeseburger. I mean, I don't even know, like, if you were, why I'm would you really, want... like, into the fast food numbers, man. Well, you look at the price. I, I look at the price. Yeah. Actually, that's a little dicky sign. He raps about that. You ever heard that one? No. He raps about how he's looking at the menu, and he's looking at the price of a bacon cheeseburger and then a burger and then just buying the bacon on the side. He's trying to weigh the option to see which one's more expensive. How often do you eat fast food? Uh, it's a lot less now. So what you were saying is you yelled at your wife about ten cents. No, 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 that no, no, it? no, no, no. Okay. No. I, I was just shocked. I looked at. I went to go look up the menu because I was like, I wonder because Did they you changed it because she like showed you how much. Because you, you used to be able to get a double cheeseburger for a dollar, and then all of a sudden it became, became the McDouble, and I was like, why is it a McDouble? Oh, it's one slice of cheese. I'm like, really? You're saving that much money off of one slice of cheese? Adds up, man. I, and it How does. many McDoubles do they sell a day? You want to look it up? Probably Let's a lot. Out. No, I don't want to look it I up. I want to know. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, so this is the portion. We're going to move into the spoiler episode, spoiler part of everything. Are so, we done with fast food? Are you sure? We're done with fast food. Are you food. sure? I'm, I'm I sure. I like we spend another sure. 20 minutes sure. talking about Hey, this. I'm lucky enough that we got, like, um, uh, Javi's Tacos is by us. That place is bomb. I had some. I had the carne asada fries last night there. So how often do you go to fast food? You say a week. Uh, Three times? It used to be a couple times a week, but now we're trying to limit it. Was that once a week? If that. If not. We, so we, twice a week? <laughs> How sad does that burger look? <laughs> yeah. You know what? It looks kind of good. I kind of want some McDonald's. <laughs> Let's store dash some McDonald's over here. <laughs> no, thank you. Why not? Because. You just go about how much of that McDonald's? <laughs> so, spoilers now for the Mandalorian Episode 3. Um, so if you don't want to hear Titus spoil the ending of anything, literally anything, he could spoil anything at any time. He may not even have seen the movie, but he's going to spoil it for you. Um, I'm just going to try. So, I know Andrew's gripe has been the shortness of the episodes, correct? They sell 75 burgers every second. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot, man. 45,000 every minute. 6.48 million burgers every day. 
I did see a thing somewhere where some dude ate like KFC for a week and he lost. He ate nothing but KFC for a week and he lost weight. I guess they said it's good protein, man. Chicken. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> try it. So, but you didn't like the shortness, correct? Sure. Well, no, you were it's, saying before you were saying more. you were saying you could explain this episode. You could explain all the you episodes could explain in two all minutes. Three of them, yeah. So the one thing I've heard from, like, I listen to some pod, podcasts that have movie critics and TV critics, and they're saying what they're what people are really enjoying about the show is the fact that he has a set plan. He has a set like the not the sh- not the not the Mando, but like the director has it. This is what's going to happen. And they've started incorporating little things here and there to kind of just add filler. But they're fun filler because the episode is so short. It's not like you're on some elongated, long side mission that doesn't have anything to do with the story. It's legitimately... Yeah, it can't be long episodes less than half an hour. (laughs) They're really dragging it. Is it bad? I no, I call it's, it bad. It's not bad. I, what it, well, hold, what, on, hold on, hold on, because you're you're a Star Wars like sycophant. No, you're all about Disney. Hold what? on, you're very a what sycophant. I don't know what that means. It's it's Google. like a it's like a it's is that like a, a sick elephant? No, si- sycophant is basically like you are a fanatic or something to a point of where you're blind to <laughs> the negative negative stuff of it. Say it again, sycophant. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, but, so no, wait, hold on. Do you like it? Are you entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> yeah, it, it, I'm entertained. You're entertained, all right. It, I think they tried I wish to. Cre- they would break it up. They tried to create a show, I believe, that is more about trying to figure out what is going on, but you have to rewatch it. So, like, everyone is saying that. I, I personally think. So he calls himself Foundling, correct? That's what he calls himself. He's a he's, he was a Foundling. Okay. So you don't remember that part? <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's why he's donating all that money to the blacksmith is because he's a foundling. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is is a foundling is in reference to any person or species who is found and the Mandalorians take them in because they're very tribal. They're very um, group-like. And if you noticed, I, I don't think he's Mandalorian. I don't think he is. Yeah, I said that since day one. Well, are all Mandalorians covering their face? Well, so because well, you see his parents. Wait, Chris, I said this in the first episode. And, uh, so, so what? I said so, the first one. so what? What they? So I had my doubts because. Why'd you doubt me, Chris? I didn't doubt you. I said that. I said he's not a Mandalorian. Right, but there's the the thing is the, the tough part is is in, so they're like tribe like so most of the comics and other stuff in history each tribe can make their own rules so like they can't remove their helmet kind of thing like that so the thing i have the thing the problem i had when i the first thing i realized was in the third episode they pushed it hard at trying to make you think he's not one because all the mandalorians in that cave the reason why they're there is because they can't be seen outside because they have contracts out on them they're basically um, for crimes against the Empire, they're supposed to be taken in. That's why um, uh, Werner Herzog, who plays the Imperial guy that puts the contract out, says it's so hard to find a real Mandalorian because they're not they're not out in the public. Because Jango Fett wasn't a real Mandalorian, nope. Boba Fett wasn't a real more ma- Mandalorian. And then the worst part, the one thing that made me kind of like go, "Oh, you gotta be kidding me!" was when he said, "I gotta get me one of those," talking about the jetpack. And I was like, "Yeah, wouldn't you?" So, super spoilery, super spoilery. I'm super excited about this. Calm down. So, the next episode. Have you noticed what's been happening every episode? That's Nothing. been slowly been happening. <laughs> no, no, no. Boom! It's, it's been, got him. It's been <laughs> spoiler alert. Nothing it's, is going on. It's slowly been happening every single time. I just I talked about with Connor from Kong Han's Cantina yesterday. Every episode. They slowly show more and more of, of him as a kid running with his parents and being put into that container, correct? Yeah. And it gets more and more each time. That robot that shot him, those don't exist after the Clone Wars. Because they were, the Emperor had them dis, uh, was it, uh, shut off, basically. So his thinking in, which I think would be awesome, is how do you think they're going to introduce the new Obi-Wan show? Obi-Wan's going to show up with Anakin. That's why Hayden Christensen's been told he can't talk about anything because he was hanging out with Warner Herzog. That what's going to happen is is him and Obi-Wan and him are going to show up 
in the from the Clone Wars and save him, the Mando, save him. How Don't they show him being saved in this third one? No, they just show they show something the, opens the door. The right? robot pulls the was pointing the blaster at him, and then it shows the chess piece being made, and it doesn't show what happens to that robot. And okay. I think he gets hit with a saber, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be Obi Wan and Anakin. Because in in the Clone Wars cartoons, they're running around Mandalore just doing all this crazy stuff the whole time. So I mean, so that's your theory, or that's what you saw on the. I internet? think I know. I think that I've been talking to Connor. I think because because he did the timeline for me, and I go, oh my gosh, because that that's when he, that's when Obi Wan and Anakin are running around having fun between episodes two and three. I got something to pick apart on it. Okay. Um. Uh. So. Werner Herzog puts Mm -hmm. he says uh, if you go back to I think in the first one when he gives him the contract to go get the baby Yoda Uh he he tells him that's his first job is to babysit he tells him Whose first job? The, the bounty hunter. No, he's one of the best. He's one of the best in the galaxy. That's why they gave it to him. It's, that's that's the the contract was looking for a fifty year old. Did you watch the first episode? No, I haven't seen any of them. Looking for a fifty year old. I thought you watched the first one. So okay. the, so Yoda's species lives to I think was it five hundred years old something like that. Okay. So he's fifty. So technically he ages slower. So it looks like he's like a baby, but he's not a baby really. All right. So he when he sends him, he says, uh, preferably alive, but we'll pay less for it dead. Right. Now, it seems like they want this thing really badly, but he also seems to not care that much. Go back and watch it again. The way he says it, the way he says, no big deal if you bring him back dead. So, I think or it's he because... Says, uh, I, I think proof it's of termination will termination be acceptable with, right. or something like that. For, for a, for a, for a lesser fee. reduced fee or yeah. something like that. And I, he doesn't seem to care. I think what it is is because he... So, so for me personally, I think this is a clone. I think Baby Yoda is a clone, and what they're doing is they're creating a clone army because. Didn't we say this about the clone Yodas on that? Yeah, we already talked about it the first time. Yeah. Yeah, Baker brought that up though, right? I did say clones, but yeah, yeah we everyone's thinking it. But the new thing that's come out was <laughs> sorry. Man. There's there's just, a there's a new image. Go kill myself. There's a new image of that doctor, and he has a patch on the side of his shirt that looks like the uh, uh, Kamino, uh, Kaminoan patch, which that's where all the clones came from in the Clone Wars. So the belief is, I think this this baby is a clone, and maybe they created the clone. During you know because it happened before episode one is when this like clone was from. Said all this stuff on the first time we talked about Mandalorian. No, oh yeah, the person but that what I'm saying, what I'm saying is everyone seems to think well, they want this baby Yoda so bad for its power or whatever. No, I think they want for his DNA. With it, but he also he doesn't seem to want it that bad if he says. Oh, if you just proved to me you killed it, that's fine too. Well, maybe it's also they don't want it in someone else's hands. If you notice, though, all the other bounty hunters want the baby, want it dead. All the other bounty hunters want it dead. I don't think they say that. They IG-11 was going to kill it immediately. Well, because that was the contract, was to kill it, right? No, it's it's the same contract. He even said when he when he gets the payment this time, he said, it I, I, because he goes, I had a lot of people interested. And as you see in the end, all those things light up. Speaking of which. Um, well, they weren't trying to kill it. They said hand it over. Right, but I think it was because they knew they could get they could get money off of it too. What still, what I'm saying is, if the Empire wanted it so bad, you don't usually say. But if you kill it, that's cool too. I'll take. I that. think maybe this one of the. I think they don't want it in someone else's hands either. So I think this doctor wants to keep it, but the Empire, well, whatever you want to call it now, the eventually the First Order is going to be. You know, that's what's going to be. I do think uh, what's funny is so uh, Carl Weathers, who's always Chubbs to me, uh, he, I think he purposely shot Chubbs in the chest where he shot him because he knew the Beskar steel was there. I think so too. Because he, he pulls it out, it, he, he shows it to him, there, and he yeah. puts it back there. Yeah. And I think Chubbs realizes it after he gets shot. Yeah. Because so if you don't know, so that 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 knife he has, it's a Vibram blade. That's illegal in all the galaxy his gun is illegal in all the galaxy that's why he mentions it when he shoots one of the bounty hunters and he disintegrates them he goes that's an interesting gun you got there mando and um the funny thing connor told me is is you know the the big mando with the machine gun the heavy gun yeah he goes i'm forever calling that guy duncan i don't care what his real name is in the in the show his name's duncan from now on because he looks like a duncan knight but 
I so basically they called him a coward in this episode because he took he took the steel, which was that's what their planet was destroyed. That's why they're in hiding is because of their steel. Um, so that's why a lot of people said that it might be he's not Mandalorian either because why would they turn on him so fast and how is he able he's the only one that can go out in public that doesn't make any sense because he's not Mandalorian we already talked about this right but the thing is though no but if you're you're living in the outskirts the Empire bounty shouldn't be that there's no bounty on you anymore really but they all still live in hiding I don't know if it's a again like because the the blacksmith's the leader they didn't say no one else can go out they said they have to go out one at a time oh that's what he's saying they said they have to go one at a time okay so, well, now they're all out What I'm saying now. about leaving Yoda dead or alive, it's either just bad writing or it's something else that uh, everyone's wrong about why they want the Yoda for. It could be. Because um, that might have just been a bad line that shouldn't have been in the show. So, when, but th- I don't think so. Werner Herzog's not gonna, Werner Herzog's not going to say some bad line like that because he, the way he talks and everything well, makes everything part stick of the up. script. True. But it's not, it's not his fault. What it also, I was thinking it could have been too is, let's say for instance, because when he puts it in that chamber, I don't know what it's doing. It's reading his vitals or whatever. And he's like, what are you doing to it? And he's like, I'm protecting it. That's what I don't get either. So I, I don't know if so, something's going on that obviously we don't know. There's going to be some sort of curveball that everyone expects this, but gets that. Um, and then I found out, so, you know, we talked about the spoiler about how like, um, this is supposed to spoil um, the new ep- the new movie. So I think all it spoils is so we're a spoiler it's alert. Not a YouTube. spoiler. It's okay. just something towards the movie. But what is it? So the belief is is the pl- there's a planet the, there's a planet in the new trailer that you see. That's that article I sent you guys. No. The tross. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I sent you that. Yes, the article. There's a planet, <laughs> but no, this no, no, this this isn't type of the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian has something in it too. So the planet that they go to, where the article that Titus sent says that when they smash the helmet on a certain planet, they go to Clone Wars and they show the Clone Wars what it looked like the planet, and it looks like the same planet where the Emperor was hiding at. It's like a it's a Sith planet, and basically. What is a Sith planet? It's so basically they have Jedi planets. So Star Killer Base, which was in the Last Jedi, that big base that they go in to infiltrate. Um, sorry, in in Force Awakens, Star Killer Base. Uh, that one is a Jedi has Jedi crystals, the Kyber crystals for their lightsabers. That that planet was full of them, and they use it to build the Star Killer Base. So a Sith planet is strong with the dark side of the Force, same as you have light side stuff. You have dark oh, side yeah, stuff yeah. here. Well, the belief is is that Palpatine had a clone. And that's where he kept it was the Sith planet. So so many clones. I don't understand like that. So how, when he dies, that I don't get that. So I like, think clone. the person that was killed in 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 almost like Snoke didn't want to be out there. He was always on a hologram for the most part. I think it's the same thing with the Emperor. Maybe he was the one oh, that was oh, killed no, huh? was a clone. It wasn't actually him, kind of thing. I don't know. But they're saying that in the Mandalorian, you might discover the planet where the Emperor can hide out and it's like a place for him. And the cloning thing seems to be pretty big because all the articles show the it's the patch. That doctor is wearing the patch of the Kaminoans. And it that's what they do is they clone. That's all they do on that planet is clone. So it's kind of a big thing on that. What time is it right now? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Titus. My phone died. Yeah, good. Oh, I don't really go on it to begin with. Is that why it died? <laughs> yeah, probably. Because <laughs> you haven't been using it. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I'm hopeful. I don't know how long. Do, I, wonder if it, I wonder if it shows the runtime for the next episodes. Uh, 15 seconds. There's The funniest article I've seen so far is, have you ever seen, I think it's in, uh, I can't remember if it's The Empire Strikes Back. One of the movies, one of the rebels is running away and he's holding what looks like a ice cream maker. And they're like, why is he running away with the ice cream maker? Well, they brought it back. That was the vault. That he had the best car steel in. Yeah. It looks like an ice cream maker from the top. So they'd like a little throw, a throwback to kind of be like, hey, look, this is, you know, throwing back to the old, old, old shows and whatnot. The thing I didn't like about this one was that droid, it took off when he pointed the gun at it. I'm like, really? That was kind of like. That a droid is threatened by a gun. A blaster. Yeah. Right. Because, I mean, R2, all he would do is he would just shock him and then, bam, done. 
Um, so chapter four doesn't have any info on it. Nothing. Wait and see. Wait, what? Oh, no. Guess who is the director of episode four? Jason Bateman. It's not John Favreau? Jan- John Favreau is the writer. So, so Rick. He doesn't direct them too? Mm, so Rick Fam- Famu Iwa directed number two. I don't think you're allowed to say that. Number one, I believe, was. So director was Dave Filoni. Yeah, yeah, well, you know who? D- Dave Filoni is the creator of Clone Wars and Resistance, the cartoons. So, um, and then chapter three was directed by Deborah Chow. Ch- you're never going to believe chapter chapter four. <laughs> chapter so everybody else is coming back on different oh, you're episodes. You're leaving me hanging on, man. <laughs> Deborah Chow is doing a couple of them. Chapter eight. You're going to go through all the directors. Oh wow! Right now? Chapter eight is Taiko Watiti. Oh no! What? And they already have season two. Episode one is already listed on here. Awesome. That's crazy. So, the next episode is directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah. I didn't know she directed. Well, I mean, her dad's an amazing director, so you hope that the genes what? passed off. Ron Howard. Ron Howard's your dad. Uh, the Jurassic redheaded World. one from Jurassic World. I know who... Oh, I don't... Oh, the skinny one? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I guess. She's not fat. What are you talking Have about? Have you seen Jurassic World? Uh, the, this is the redheaded girl? Yes. That's... Daughter. That's Ron Howard's daughter, uh, yeah. And she directs now, huh? I, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, Just because her dad's a director doesn't mean, oh, obviously she is. Um, let's see how many director's credit she has for her. Uh, I, heard a cool, I heard a cool story about how, uh, uh, Ron Howard that about, um, I guess, when Jim Carrey was filming uh, the uh, Grinch. uh uh-huh. Like he was like, dude, I can't. He was in he was in makeup for eight hours, putting all that stuff on. He's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. So they legitimately hired a CIA operative that was basically taught people how to resist torture, <laughs> to get him to get through <laughs> the get through the uh, process of it. So he directed. She directed. That one doesn't count. She directed dads. Where would that come from? Huh? What are you talking about the Grinch for? Ron Please. Howard directed Ron it. Howard. Okay. Yeah. Um. She hasn't directed anything good. She did Dads. <laughs> Whoa, according to you. She directed Dads, which was about... She teams up with her father, Ron Howard, to explore a contemporary fatherhood through anecdotes. You seem angry about that. And then lastly, she did was uh, a thing called Crazy... Call Me Crazy, a five film. It looks like it was in Britain. What does that mean? A five film? Um, it must be the, like the production company. A fine film. Oh, fine? I thought I you said so. five. Five. Fine. Five. Fine. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you turn German on the last one? I don't one? know. <laughs> I'm just messing around. I'm trying to just, you know. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing right now. That's Bryce Dallas Howard. She's in Jurassic World? She looks way yeah. different there. You might know her from, so that's her in Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah. But she's also, I forgot, she's also in my favorite episode of uh, Black Mirror. That one. Never seen Black Mirror. So on that one, you um, everything you do is based on your social media rating. So if you have, like, people can take a picture and you're pleasant, they'll take a picture and say, oh, they're pleasant. And they interact with you. They rate you like Yelp. Straight up, it's real life Yelp. On Black Mirror? On the show Black Mirror, on that they episode. That now, I think I'm confused. Stuff. Is that uh, Hannah Montana on on that show? Who's on the Netflix she's on the cover new of one. that? She's on the new one. Is she on it? She's on the cover for the okay, newest one. it looks yeah. like her. Yeah, she's in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miley Cyrus, yeah. She's and Hannah Montana. One. You're going to call her Hannah Montana forever? The best of both worlds, man. Come on. <laughs> best of both worlds. Uh, that, that, that one's on Disney, too, I think, isn't it? No. Disney Plus? Mm-mm. Well, it was a Disney Channel show. I want to know. It should be. I want to know what happened. So they're doing that thing with uh, uh, Lizzie McGuire. They did like they keep, they keep doing, like, oh, hey, we're all they're all back. The whole family's back. And then they brought back Gordo, the, the boyfriend. But the girlfriend, she had a problem with meth, like, not like a while back. Putting people on blast, man. It was all over the news. So well, I mean, I mean you, got, you can't kick her when she's down. Right? She's not down anymore. But I mean, I haven't seen anything about her being on the show, and she was the best friend on the show. How can you not have her best friend on the show? Because I mean, write it into addition. the story. Yeah, she they died. Got she's in rehab. She no, man, why you gotta go so dark? <laughs> they can't have people in rehab on Disney Plus. Oh, they can say they died. <laughs> yeah, Disney's, that's better. That's, yes. No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um... But yeah, I, I'm liking the way the Mandalorian's going. Um, they did that little 
so so Titus hasn't watched it yet. No. So they did this thing where the reason why he goes so in, in the episode he gets his bounty, he gets his chest plate ma- chest plate made. He gets in a fight with Duncan, the Duncan Mando, because he's like you're a coward because the plates have the Imperial logo on them, and that's why they have to be in hiding is because they they were wanted because they fought back the Empire from stealing their metal. So. The little so fight the Empire bre- doesn't exist. What? The Empire doesn't exist. Right. Anymore, so, so it's still kind of an old... But I think there's still factions... There's remnants right, of the Empire. That still come Sheriff. after. Right. Werner Herzog is like... Uh, Werner Herzog uh, has, a, an Imperial, has the Imperial Guard still with him. So he's, you know... They're, they're still out there. And they're trying to rebuild is what they're doing, honestly. They're, but it's they're, not they're like working, a public organization, right. I guess you would say. They're trying an to... establishment. The, the the Empire? Have you seen the Death Star? Yeah. The size of a planet. Right. No, but like, how big? Like, is the whole universe? It, it was bas- basically. It was kind of like. Um, it it was the whole universe, and then like the little outskirt planets, like Tatooine and stuff like that. They kind of left them alone. They're like outlaw planets, but they still had their influence on them as well. So, y- you may think you're out of the reach of the, the Empire, but the Empire can still get you. It's kind of like the U.S. government, like Puerto Rico. You know, you know? About, we about? still have our hands on Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico's ours, but. You know, yeah, we got no, our, no, we got our, got our hands, our, off of it. Got our nah, hands in there. Thing. That's a U.S. territory. Right, that's what I'm saying, though, is the Empire... I that's a good analogy. Oh, um, whatever. What would be, like, a better one? <clears throat> the Philippines? Is that still a U.S. territory? The Philippines, mate. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, whatever. <laughs> well, we gotta Actually, be, like, I don't act- know if it still is anymore. <laughs> it's not... No, the Philippines is its own country. Country, but, but we... we have, like, pretty good influence. Like, pretty right. good. Like, like, Japan would be more of a good ex- example. Because we, like... So we have influence. We, we have, have trade. A, right. We have bases there. Japan. Like same thing. Same thing with. Uh, we have a Death Star hanging Death Star. over. Well, same thing with South Korea. <laughs> South Korea. We're all over that. We're all over it. Like crazy. We're right on the border with them. It's you know. No, they really. It really is like that's we're. we're this is not how I would word it. South Korea. We're right. all over it. <laughs> <laughs> but um. So the re- So the reason why. So he he turns the baby over and then. The baby Yoda. They, baby Yoda over. Yeah. They get kind of in a fight in the thing and then when he's going to leave, he reaches for his basically it'd be his version of a shifter to engage and the balls off of it because the baby Yoda took it off and was playing with it. Yeah. So the only thing I thought was like they try to make it like a funny thing. He puts it back on, and then he shuts it off, and he's like, ugh. He goes back and gets it. So when he's taking off Baby Yoda, he unscrews it, and you see a little hand, like, right here, and he goes, and he drops in Baby Yoda's hand. And I'm kind of like, they didn't need to do that. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with doing that little, that one little scene with him dropping the ball in the baby's hand. It was kind of... Oh, it made sense to me. Uh, how do you, how can you all... It's 50 years old. It's not a baby. Because they live to be, like, 500 years old. So they it's not age a baby. They age slowly. slowly. Okay. So he's still still in a baby stage. So how is that in human years? Well, how you old can't is do it? math. How I mean, old it, it's like an yeah. infant. In it's like an infant. Years. So he'd be like a two-year-old. Two-year-old, three-year-old. That's what I'm asking. Is it, like, six months? Is it two months? That's what I'm is saying. He's like, months, he'd be like a, he'd be like a two-year-old or three-year-old right now. Okay. At 50 years. Is that hard? Oh, I'm gonna stab Titus with <laughs> the pen on camera. Um, Documented. But so like so same thing with uh, Wookies. They live to be about 800 years old. So mm. it's the same kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I I like the way it's going. I have a feeling we're gonna end up back on that planet with uh, Nick Nolte in some capacity. Probably. But there you go. Show summed up in a couple minutes. Did you? So did you know who the the first bounty was? You know the first bounty, that blue guy, the the one that they're trying. Oh. To, you know who it was played by, Horatio Sands. Yeah, yeah. I did not yeah, know I saw that. It on the credits, I, I, him and obviously Steve Ag. He not Steve Ag. Um, Brian Posehn played the uh, what? You looking at the time or something? <laughs> no. Uh, Brian Posehn played the uh, the char- driver in the first episode, and he was pretty happy. He was funny. He posted on Twitter. He's like, "Mom, I'm a part of the Star Wars universe now," something like that. And then he immediately got eaten. So it was kind of like, "Oh, you know." One thing I will say: so this podcast is FOMO cast. It's about everyone binge watching everything as soon as possible. I feel like the this is the first time I've ever watched a show where everyone's like, "Oh, I'm spoiling it for you day three. You know what I mean? Like people are just out there being like, "Hey, Baby Yoda!" Like the like literally. It was hours after I finished watching it that I watched it that that night. Game of Thrones was leaked pretty good, like the last season. Like you right. could figure it. Like it was, it was leaked. Out but all I'm saying is people are 
watching the show, like usually a move a movie or a show has a moratorium of like what a show probably a week or two. No, no don't one talk about that. it. I don't think the internet respects that. A lot of people did. Do they? I think you're on the internet too much. <laughs> you're like on the internet. You're eating fast food a lot. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But no, but I mean, I feel like people are just like, hey, this is this is the new age of it's streaming. If you if you got it, you need to watch it ASAP. Or just not go on social media. Like, yeah, that's I what am, I do. Like I'm not on social media. Except You're anti O social media. You, he has he's gonna get that razor flip foam, and he's gonna be mad because it's a solid screen. He wants that break in it, so he doesn't he can't do anything, and and the government can't watch him. What are you talking about? They have a new razor coming out. I don't want a razor. It opens up. It's one. It's one smooth phone. It still folds. Yeah, you do. I know you do. I'm an iPhone guy till the day I die. How <laughs> dare you? I got a tattoo. <laughs> Don't take your shirt off, please. Uh, but no, I I, I I liked. I do like the way it's going. I think um, a lot of people. I I don't know if the first episodes were like more of like, hey, we need to establish where we're at in this timeline because everyone's like, uh, they're very subtle. It's five years after the end of. Return of the Jedi. So that means Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, all of them are out there and about doing their own thing. So I don't know if you want to bring them into this. If you don't want to bring them into it, how are you going to tie them in? Um, I'm trying to think. Would would uh, Kylo Ren be alive at this time? I'm terrible with the timeline. Andrew, Maybe I wouldn't be so annoyed if I could just watch all the episodes. I hate this week-by-week week crap. It's not a real show. It's streaming. It's already made. Just give it to us. And the one thing that kind of bothers me a little bit, too, is I don't want the recap before every episode. You can skip it. I know, but... <laughs> oh, can you? They fix that? You can skip every intro on every show. You excited about that? No, because my kid only <laughs> likes the intro for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I wish they would just play that on a loop. They probably can. You could probably get that on YouTube. I do. It has... It has there's a thing. It says... This is crazy... I walk in the house one time and I heard the hot dog song playing and I'm like, what the hell? And the wife found a YouTube channel that it's an hour straight of just the hot dog dance over and over and over and yeah. over again. It's on loop in my house all day. <laughs> I know. That, isn't that what you make when you're making hot dogs? That's, that's all. So those of you who don't know, that's all Andrew eats is hot dogs 24-7. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's true. Yeah. You do? <laughs> I have no idea. He's on a hot dog diet. You didn't know that from last mm. time? It was probably the same reason why when we were last time, this is, this is Titus. Did you know hot did, dogs cost here. more in Anaheim? Wait, what were we talking about? Huh? <laughs> what, what, what were we talking about? I just, I'm just trying to like, uh, you know. Be zen and stare at my, my, uh, my uh, area. What did you get when you went to Arby's? They have these little um, sandwiches. They're, oh, they're always like a, a dollar each. They're, um, so they have like a chicken, they have oh, a regular chicken good one. Food, man. A chicken, what? <laughs> like sliders? Food. Like sliders, yeah. So they have the ones normally, there's a small chicken sandwich. They're called like okay. chicken littles or whatever. They're small little ones. And then they had a, th- a time where they had one that was like a buffalo sauce one, a barbecue sauce one, and then they had like uh, a different a different cheese one kind of thing. And that's what they had, the little sliders. Were you like saying they each. burned you when you went to Anaheim and they charged you like $5 no. for it? No, 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 no. That one was fine. But what was more expensive? No, I didn't say, I said that the park, the the pricing for the food in the park was comparable to just going to fast food, and you're getting a better experience. Well, not I'm not saying it's saying fine dining. I'm saying like if you go to the kiosk or you go to the Carnation Cafe is more like a, I, I feel like it'd be a version of like a Perkos in the park. So they have they're known for their fried chicken, but they have burgers, they have uh, little sandwiches and whatnot. It's it's like a normal. You're saying it costs the same as like fast food outside the park. Like if you got the same kind of thing in a fast food place, equivalent, I would say. So for for the same price, you'd get the same amount of food. I bet it's more expensive in the park. Oh, you're the Disneyland well, expert, I'm, though. I will say I don't count the fact that when we would go all the time, we had twenty percent discount. So that might help a little bit. What happened with Galaxy's Edge? They just said, "Hey, this is stupid. We're going to change the menu." <laughs> well, they no, created, so, they created a that? menu of so no language ha- that on. no one knows. So hold on, no, one no can read. it wasn't in the and language. Just, like, throw it up there. It wasn't. In, it wasn't in the language. That's what they said. Is no a crazy language that people could no one. No, it wasn't in a crazy language. Like, so what happened like, was, is in Florida they had it, and it says like it's a, it's the whatever animal 
a like it's like it has like a the name of the the alien animal. So a it's language? like really chicken, but they're calling it like a. Oh right, <laughs> exactly. But what happened What's was the thing that Luke sleeps in on the snow planet. Um, What's it a called? tauntaun. That's so they called it like said. tauntaun tacos. That's not a different language. Just, what's it called? What? What's the chicken called? What's this? They call it something else. What's the animal called? That's not a different language. It's a different language. No, it's not. It's called chicken sandwich. No, it's not supposed to be chicken. What's it called? That, so you're thinking they're saying that, that it's this name of the animal is their version of a chicken. It's not. No, it's just a different animal, right? Right. That's not a different language, yes. though. They don't make up a language for the animal. Describe the animal. Not a language. No, just it's Star not a Wars language. Terms. It's a different name. Words. You're saying it's a made up name, made up word. Right. That's not a different language because they actually have stuff in other languages. I'm saying like the Star Wars, like the menu. I mean, yes. You know, like the whatever. It's in English. Right, but it's in the, like the alien thing. Like the it doesn't say chicken, does it? What did it say? Yes, it says chicken in the description. If you read the description, it What's says it a chicken say, breast. Um, the, the, but they that. would title the items like right. like what was that? tacos. I don't, I don't I don't know what the name of the animal See? was. It's just a made up animal, right? Right, but that's From not a, a different... made up language. No, it's not a made up language. It's the it's what, English. No? Is it what? no because it's a made they have creature. They have it's yeah. a made up creature. That's not a made up language because they have Ar- it was Aradesh, I think is what it is, and you can get your name and stuff written in it over in Disneyland in Tomorrowland. All it, right. it has a foreign language Andrew made sense. to transfer. Made sense right now. Oh, eat me. <laughs> So, so basically, so they said this is stupid. We're just gonna call no. Them I think what happened is there's probably some stupid law in Florida that says that's not what they said. People were just confused because they couldn't read the could menus. Be. But no, the, that's what it said. But the problem, the problem, the problem is, is that if you look below it, it told you exactly what it was in the description. People don't want to read, man. True, especially in Florida. Have you yeah. seen those people? So what so, happened was in the article. We don't it just said people were Florida, confused. We? Yeah, That's you know, what? and you know what happened? They changed yeah. it for a week, and people were like, "No, no," and then they put it right back. Did they really? Yeah. Why didn't you send that article to me? But they changed it back. I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab you because I know people that are in the park. I know people that go to that park you got weekly. Inside info. I know people that go. They said they changed it right back because it was dumb. Because the way that Galaxy's Edge is set up Florida's is. Dumb. <laughs> the way that the way that Galaxy's Edge is set up is it's supposed to be its own unique experience. You're basically right. going in there. It's cosplay to the extreme. Like my favorite video so far is there's a video of this girl dancing. Like she's twerking and stuff in the park, and she's pointing at the stormtrooper, and the stormtrooper is looking at her like this, and all of a sudden he starts going like this, is it shaking a video his watched? head. No, huh? It's a video. Watched? It's a video I watched. I just think it's hilarious because. They're like they have a little girl. She's dressed like Ray, so she's got the force, and she points at the stormtrooper, and he's like, "We don't have any problems," and he's walking around her, like trying to get away from her. They're acting. They're not, you know, it's a different world. You like they're, that stuff? I think it's kind of cool because they're lacking a lot of stuff there, and that's why attendance was so down. That's why they're saying that they lost a lot of money this year because of that park. Because people didn't want to go to it. So it's not in. Well, basically, what they did was. They said, well, I'm not going to Disneyland because it's going to be crazy because of the opening of the new park. I had a friend that went there, so just for reference, they have the Peter Pan ride. And it's normally, it's almost always an hour wait all the time. The minimum. I've seen it before, it would be two hours to three hours to four hours. They went and they go, it was a five minute wait to walk on because there was nobody in the park. They took video, they're walking around, there's nobody here because everyone was either in Galaxy's Edge, the opening, which even wasn't that packed. And... A lot of people said what happened was what they used to do was they would let people in early. So they'd let like radio personalities, TV personalities, they would do the YouTubers, the podcasters, Can and they changed they changed that. I, I could apply for stuff now because well, we're established. Now. Well, for future stuff like movie premiere stuff like that, I, I looked into it. You I know people it? that I know people that do it. Um, they have to have more content than we do at the moment. <sighs> That's why I'm trying to build stuff up with the YouTube channel, doing the gaming on it, and all that stuff like that. So, are you an influencer? I'm working that. No, I can't. I can't be. It's not worth it being an influencer anymore. Now, there's what? There's no worth. It's not worth it. Why is that? So they changed the thing. They put out. I got an email the other day saying um, you need to clarify if your stuff is aimed at kids. So what they found out was is there's this channel, I guess, of this kid who opens toys and plays with them, and it's called, like, Ryan Reviews. Right. And the parents were found out that they were getting money from some of the companies to review it. And you can't do that because that means the kid is being influenced to say he likes a product when he doesn't really like it. So they pulled all of his monetization because, like, let's say, for instance, for some weird reason we blow up because we're just a bunch of idiots and... I don't think that's weird. 
<laughs> no, not the idiot part, no. But let, let's say we start making money off of it, and then <clears throat> something bad happens, we want to talk about it, we can demonetize that video. That way people don't think we're trying to make money off a tragedy, which most people, smart people do. A relative dies, um, they have to go on hiatus for some reason, they get hurt or an accident, they record a YouTube video, it's not monetized. That way it shows, hey, look, this, we just want to talk to you on the channel. So technically, when you first start out like we are, everything's monetized. So if they, let's say, for instance, like that one video that had 159 views, if it got to a certain point, they'll say, hey, this video is about, they look at the title, oh, it's about Jojo Rabbit. It's about other stuff. Go so they'll, they'll, they'll say, let's put these kind of ads in it kind of thing. Do they then they <clears> give you money? No, you have to hit a certain point. You have to have so many followers to do that. But it does boost your, your numbers because you become more featured the more you get. So eventually you get monetized. Right, so we're not making money? No. What am I doing here? <laughs> The I'm exposure for your friends. music, fool. <laughs> I'm, I'm but, having a good time. So, so the email I got, though, is said, basically, you need to tell us if it is, because... there it was for kids? It is for kids, right? No. No, no, no. no. Not, not like, for kids? No, 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 no. Not the way that you're thinking. Like, we don't curse or anything like that, but we're adults. They're talking about legitimate, like, if it's a person like, hey, we're talking about puppy dog pals for 30 minutes. It's all about kids stuff. I mean, we've stuff. done that before, I think. <laughs> well, I mean... I feel like, we, I feel like we're a, a kid show. I yeah. disagree. I but, mean, this guy with the, the passes, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but what? So what happens is though with with the, that thing is you have to declare that now because now they're making sure they regulate what you're getting monetized as and whatnot. Um, David Dobrik, who's like one of the biggest YouTubers, he literally has to do other stuff now because he was making he was making something crazy like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month off of his YouTube videos off of advertising. And now he makes twenty five hundred dollars a month off YouTube videos because they're 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 just the algorithms everything's changing. That's why everyone's leaving YouTube for the most part. I feel like my mic needs to be turned up. It sounds Never. like <laughs> I swear to God, Titus. It sounds like the right time for us to slide into YouTube. Hey, that and Twitch. Twitch is dying as well. I don't know why you got on that. I told you from day one, don't get on Twitch. It's Hi, Twitch. Die. No, it's not. You just said it was gonna die. No, it's they they lost two of their biggest people because. Um, I didn't know this until I looked at the articles. I guess the biggest gamers, because they're legitimately gamers who their screens will say gaming times, and they'll have the date and the time that they'll be on gaming, because that's a full-time job for them. The Twitch Twitch pays some of them quite a bit of you money. you my mic yet, though? I don't care about your mic, Titus. <laughs> You're looking at the side half the time. So Can you hear me? Yeah. A lot of people say they can't hear me on the podcast. Like Nobody I, says that. Yeah, I got I I when I first got on here, I tried to tell people to watch, listen to it. I yeah, tried. you know what? It was, it was all the people he met on Tinder. That's what it was. I wasn't on hey, Tinder. Hey, he puts on Tinder. I'm a part of a famous podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, professional no. podcaster. <laughs> I never. No. Hey, I, I'm a bouncer and I'm a professional podcaster. I'm not either of those things. But what I was saying was, I was talking to friends like, "Hey, listen to it," because I have a friend who's in LA mm-hmm. who directs. And he's like, "Yeah." Give me his, his pretty brutal. He his, directs. Yeah, he directs um, uh, commercials. And I told him to listen to it, and he wrote some notes about it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And he never gave them to me. Well, they're all terrible. You tell him to email <laughs> those bad. notes. <laughs> it's bad. What do you say about me? Uh, <laughs> really, that's think, okay. You don't have to. <laughs> this is before. This is before you joined. Okay. This is before you joined. Which we were in a different venue when we started no, recording. No, we were here. It we hey, was one of yeah. his notes to get me on the show. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he's like, man, it's, it's boring. You gotta get some more people out here. <laughs> you know what the show needs is more people talking over one another. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need a few more mouths on these mics. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> this is derailing so fast, I swear to God. Kind of like Twitch. Yeah, kind of like Twitch. It's like a metaphor for Twitch. Uh, I actually, surprisingly, I mean, I put Pokemon in the title when I was gaming, and man, people came out of there and watched it, so I don't know. Is it's... it Pokemon or Pokemon? I think it's Pokemon. You like Pokemon. to call it Pokemon. I call it Pokemon. Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are those passes that you get yearly? What <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I swear to God, I hate you, Titus. I hate you so I can't much. I you said that. What? Annual. Annual passes. They're, they're called 
You might have to censor it. When Annual you go back passes. And listen to no, it. I ain't censoring censor anything. <laughs> I'm not like t- Titus, who ruined a movie without saying spoiler alert at all. Don't say, don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. No one listens though. Like, why would <laughs> <laughs> like no one listens. You don't know that. I, I have the know. numbers. You have we numbers? got like yeah. five views, right? No, after no, no one really listens. Like, who? How many people listened to the last one? Uh, like on YouTube? Yeah. I don't know on YouTube. I know how many on on. Uh, I can tell oh, you. Did we talk about the forecast thing? <laughs> I think forecast. I texted you guys about it. How if you search FOMO yeah, cast yeah, yeah, yeah. on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it says, did you mean forecast? Because that's what it, if you look at where it's at on the keyboard, that's what they're saying. It's you put forecast. <laughs> I hate oh, you it's all saying, so much. I don't think you want the FOMO cast. I think you were trying to look up uh, the forecast. So the last one had uh, 17 views <laughs> on YouTube. Nice. But we but we don't have any I mean we we only have that many videos on there and it's not we were we've been we weren't we've been consistent more the past three two two weeks. Do you put hashtags on it to get people to like suck them into it? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. All right, all right. So let's see our stats. So last seven days, sixty four listens. What? So all time on the podcast we've had ten thousand five hundred and sixty listens you're to welcome. it. You're welcome. Whatever. Those were most of my friends. The, yeah, whatever. The first time I came on here, didn't it jump up? No. Yes, it did. Oh, for for one episode. Right. The first episode I was on when I told but people look, about it. Look. Everyone got on it, and then it... My most listened to out of the track, though, 400 listens. I have no idea why. That's what I don't understand about this. Is It's uh, uh, about the Justice, just Justice League. It was episode 31. had 414 listens. I don't know why. Because um, Arnaldo, right? Was he on that one? Arnaldo? Yeah. Well, he was my co-host for the first... So many episodes. How many episodes was he on? Was he on that one? Yeah, he was on that one. I think Maybe I think he, he went. I think he went to fifty. I think can't remember. So we had thirty three listens alone on the last episode. So I think what happens too is we've been with the holidays. We t- were everyone being busy. You know, you going to graves and stuff like that. It, I'm not really busy. No, you're not. Uh, Titus is almost. Titus is basically homeless. Um, but basically. The way it works out is if you're not consistent, you're doing it weekly, it does start slowing you down. It lowers down your, your views and your listens that and all that sense. stuff like that. Because like count on us to be here. Well, no, because like Dave, David Dobrik, the reason why he built up such a following is he literally put a video out every three days. He put a video out. And that's, you know, when they see that content, eventually... What is your end game for this podcast? Like, do you want to make money from it? No, I'm not, we won't make money off of it. But do you want to do that? It'd be awesome too, but it won't happen. Are we doing a Thanksgiving special? A, th- a friends giving here. We could all bring yeah. our favorite dishes. A FOMO giving. You know what happens? FOMO it's it's going to be Thursday morning. Freaking Andrew's going to show up with uh, some uh, rock star and uh, a bunch of uh, McDonald's <laughs> sausage McMuffins. That does sound good. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm, I really might go to. So McDonald's what here? On Thursday here? We're feast. What time? Huh? What time Thursday? Are we going to do Thursday? What time for Thursday? I have nowhere to go for Thanksgiving. No, you you're serious. Yeah, why I could go lie? somewhere, but. I mean, you could. But uh, do you really want to talk about this? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. It's going to make me depressed, man. <laughs> so Thursday, what time? You really want to record Thursday. Why not? Have a Thanksgiving I'm special. I'm off Wednesday. I Was that too Wednesday. soon? I work Wednesday. Friday. We can do Wednesday night. Friday. Wednesday night? Mm-hmm. I can do Wednesday night. All right. Thanksgiving Eve. We'll do a Thanksgiving Eve special. Is there going to be turkey here? We'll, no, we'll, we'll grub hub something in. Nice. <sighs> nice. And mashed potatoes? Oh, uh, I told Titus, some KFC. someone sent me a meme that says, oh. uh, shows a picture of mashed potatoes, and it says Irish guacamole. <laughs> oh, man. I thought it was a good one. Yeah, we'll get some KFC mashed potatoes. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Call an ambulance, because I just split my sides laughing at <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I think I bust a gut. Uh, can you get me a new one? <laughs> All right, well, make sure you go to all of our stuff, facebook.com slash FOMOcast, Twitter, FOMO underscast. <laughs> Just turn it off. FOMO podcast on, on, uh, on Instagram. Um, make sure you go to the Pod Bros Network, podbros.com. Check them out there, too. And um, uh, what's, your, what's your Instagram handle for all your stuff? If you just put in Andrew Baker, it'll come up. Okay. I don't know the handle. <laughs> Okay, so you search. I search had to Andrew, put underscores and stuff in it. Search Andrew Baker. I'm a Grizzle CEO. If you watch Parks and Rec, you'll understand that. Um, hey, can you turn on my mic real quick? I'm wait, Wednesday uh-huh. night is bar night in America. Aren't you going to be working? On Wednesday night? 
That's the biggest bar night. You're probably know. working. Maybe. But we can do it earlier, right? Usually. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it like right. six o'clock ish or whatever. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a little earlier, have a little feast in here. I'll tell the wife not to make me dinner. Will she do it? Not to make me din- not make me dinner. Yeah. Will she make you dinner? Or she's like, No, Chris, I'm not gonna do it. No, I said to, I told her not make me dinner. Oh We're no. grub hubbing, you jackass. Sorry, I zoned out <laughs> oh. again. Can you draw my mic Whoa. Explicit. <laughs> That's a donkey. So <laughs> You call me a donkey? Yeah. That's an insult to donkeys. And Eddie Murphy, too. <laughs> Eddie Murphy's not a monkey. Or donkey. <laughs> what? He's not a donkey. He is on Shrek. He's on Shrek. I've he never is. seen it. He's the donkey in Shrek. No way. Yes. That's You've why I've seen... You gotta be kidding Shrek. me. None of them? None of them. Well, That's I got a re- I got a revelation for you after we finish the podcast about what happens in Shrek. You know, that's why no. Smash Mouth got popular? Mm-hmm. I saw those guys live one time. What? Which, why? Did who, you pay? Who, did you, no. who, who paid you to go? <laughs> no, no, no. Did they pay you to come to their <laughs> show? <laughs> it was in the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Oh, that beach series? And it was like uh, the four songs, and the four songs I saw were like the hits. So, Walking on the Sun, mm-hmm. was it an all-star? Mm-hmm. What was the other one? They always do, they just well, why, can't, why can't we be friends? They always sing, Why Can't We Be Friends? No, there's like another one It's like uh, as a cover of the Beatles. When I saw her face, I'm yeah, a believer. Yeah. I'm believer. a believer, yeah. And then what was the other one? There was like a, one other song. Is that a Beatles song? <laughs> I yeah, so. I believe so. I didn't know that. I think so. I'm a believer. Uh, they copied yeah. it. Uh, they, uh, they, they, covered. They, co- they covered it off someone else. So they can't make their own music. All-Star was decent, I guess. Hey, now you're an All-Star? It was on uh, nah, Mystery Men. I call music. And it was on Mystery oh. Men. Yeah. Let's talk more about Smash Mouth. No, oh my God. Smash Mouth Hour. All right. No, we're done. We're done. Just shut it off. This is the FOMO cast. So, for the homeless, I'm Chris. Can you turn it up real quick? I just want to see what would happen. Turn it up. Hello? Hello? Get some nice oh, feedback. Oh, there we see, go. But, see, but, yeah, but, see, but that's what I'm trying to tell you is when I hear it right here, yeah. it's blowing out the speaker when you talk loud when it's turned up like that. No way. That's why I'm not on it. That's why the way you talk, you talk on the mic. He doesn't. So I turned his up because he doesn't talk on the mic. I like to get that mouthful of chrome. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay, we're done. For the fun of guys, I'm Chris. Yeah. Titus. <laughs> Andrew. And we'll see you next time.